He said, I could shoot all the Blue Jays I want, but to always remember that it was a sin to kill a mockingbird. I just got chills from that. The national tour of To Kill a Mockingbird opens in Dallas tonight, presented by Broadway Dallas. Richard Thomas stars as the iconic Atticus Finch, a small town Southern lawyer in the 1930s, defending a black man accused wrongly of rape. And we are delighted to welcome Richard to Midday. So good morning to you. Happy you're here. Good morning. Thank you, Megan. I'm so happy to be with you. Yes. And so Aaron Sorkin adapts Harper Lee's classic novel for this stage. And what is it about his work here that really struck a chord with you? Well, I mean, as you know, he's a wonderful, wonderful writer. I mean, from, you know, his work on West Wing and The Social Network and all the wonderful things he's written. And it, he's, he's done an extraordinarily magical thing. He's while maintaining absolutely the spirit of Harper Lee's novel and the story, of course, um, he's managed to adapt the play so that so that we're really viewing the story very much through the lens through which we view the issues today, issues of social justice and all that. And, mm. and not that he's made it modernized it or made it contemporary, but he's really done an amazing job of bringing the story and the themes forward. Uh, and so that we can really relate even more to a story which is absolutely American. And of course, I think our favorite story in literature in America. Absolutely. I'd be surprised if someone said they hadn't read it in elementary or middle school because it is that iconic. You know, Aaron Sorkin, of course, has those has those quick quips between characters. I mean, are we going to see that type of TV work on the stage? Absolutely. It has all of the crackle and dialectic of a wonderful, mm. wonderful Sorkin piece of writing. It's there's great humor. He's given Atticus, thank heaven, wonderful humor. It's a very entertaining telling of the story, obviously very sobering and very touching as well. But but he's mixed the light and the dark, the humor and the seriousness so beautifully. And the snappiness of it is great, even though it remains quintessentially Southern in its style and tone. It's And we have a cast of 23 actors, 24 actors, who are just extraordinary. It's a, a wonderful, we've been out over a year now on the road with this production, telling the story around the country, and they are the most wonderful bunch of actors. So we, we, we'll give you a good time. Absolutely, yeah. and you know, I know touring can be a grind for some actors, but I do understand that you genuinely like it. Why? I do love touring. Uh, touring is challenging, it's very challenging. Um, most of the time we, we, we do travel from city to city on, on our days off. So it's very, it's challenging in many ways, but it's also deeply gratifying to, to go around the country with a group, a troop of actors and a piece of work that a production that you love and a play that you love is a very thrilling and very ancient kind of experience of a way to act. But also to go from community to community and experience the different, um, uh, personalities of each city and each audience and how they respond to the material is endlessly fascinating. And these theaters are so beautiful across the country. Uh, and this story, which is our story as Americans, I can't think of a more important story or a, a better story to take around the country right now than To Kill a Mockingbird. It's the perfect time for this. And, and I also want to kind of talk about that because you're currently on the sloop through the South. I mean, does yeah. Mockingbird play differently in different regions of the country? Well, everybody loves this show, no matter what part of the country you're in. Everybody loves the story and people have responded generously and beautifully to this production. Uh, but there are differences. Of course, audiences in the South are, and I've played in the South many times in different shows, incredibly warm, welcoming, uh, and they're always a pleasure to, to play for. And even though the issues of social justice land very strongly in the South um, because of our history, uh, the audiences are wonderfully open and receptive and welcome to what the story has to say. Uh, it's very gratifying, especially to play this show, to, to play the show in the Southern states. This is our, we were in Houston here, we were in Houston, San Antonio, we were just in, in Austin, and the Texans have just been uh, amazingly welcoming to this, to this show. I really appreciate that, especially in theater as a whole. You go to Texas and you don't think, oh, this is gonna be great, but we're a great open uh, bunch, so I, I definitely appreciate you saying that. Well, one and thing you learn is, if you, I've done, I've done a, lot, a lot of Broadway my whole life, a lot of shows in, 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 in those sort of capitals of entertainment in the, 
in the country, people don't realize that, that there's a great dedication to going to the theater all the way across America. People are very proud of their local theaters and they attend oh, them. Oh, yeah. The difference is most of the time it's musicals and I'm happy because I get to tour in plays and plays don't tour enough yes. uh, across the country and people come to them and really love them. I love it. So is it also true that you change up the trial's closing argument each night? Well, I don't... I would never change up of course. Sort of writing ever under any circumstances because for me the text is 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 absolutely sacred. Uh, but because Atticus is is um, making it up as he goes along, even though of course it's written, uh, I I try to stay open to whatever impulses I have at the moment when wow. I come out on stage. And in that respect, I mean, I haven't crafted it into one thing that I do the same way every night. Uh, although you have to always, in the course of a play, you have to keep it between the lines and we all have to do the show together as we've understood it and we've opened it and rehearsed it. You don't want to throw anybody else off or the audience or yourself. But in the context of this one speech where I don't have to worry about, you know, throwing anyone else off, I have the freedom to, and Aaron and I have talked about it, to just make it up from scratch every night emotionally and, and in terms of the dynamics of it. Well, so, yes, I do make it up but only how I play it, not the words that Absolutely. I Absolutely. You're not going in there, Aaron Sorkin style, writing everything differently. I appreciate well, it. Well, first of all, I'm not a member of the Writers Guild. Of and course. The Guild, and they're on strike anyway, so what am I, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Another very valid point. Um, well, thank you so much for sure. I, I so appreciate everything you said, and thank you, of course, for joining us on our newscast today. Well, thank you. Come see us. It's a wonderful production, and thanks for having me. Absolutely. So here's all the information you need to know. To Kill a Mockingbird is on stage at Fair Park Music Hall in Dallas through May 28th. For tickets, go to broadwaydallas.org. Sounds like a terrific experience. We'll be right back.